Hey, how's it going today? And I'm going to show you how to create some basic audio controls with a basic interface. This is just to get started for beginners, especially if you're new to Unreal Engine. And what we're going to end up with is something like this, where we'll have this kind of menu on the screen and it'll say audio controls. And if I hit play, the music starts playing. I don't know if you're getting my on-screen music or not. But if I drag the uh, volume down, the volume goes down, and then I can control that. And then I have this power switch. It basically turns it off, gives the appearance of turning it off, and hit power gives the appearance of turning it on. And you'll see why I say gives the appearance of. And that's basically it. So I hope to get started, and I'll be back in just a second. Okay, I'm back. And so to get started, I'm just in a basic blank project, open world project. And to get started, I just need a wave file of some sort. So I'm just grabbing some music that I have as a wave file. And I'm just dragging it right onto the content browser like that. And I'll go ahead and maximize this. Now there are a few steps that we need to get through on all this. So I'm going to try to go as fast as I can. So the first thing is, you click on this, you can hear the music playing right away. But we want to convert this into what's called a cue. And basically that makes it almost inst instantable in Unreal. That we can use it as an object in the scene and then we can have more control over it. So what we do is, this would play in our scene, but we wouldn't have really any control over it. So what we can do is we right click and we create what's called a queue. And I'm just going to leave it called Unreal Music 1 queue. And then if I double click, you'll see what I mean about being able to control it. I can dock this window up here. And then I have control over it with all these fantastic controls. This is actually one thing that's pretty awesome about Unreal. This part is very intuitive. A lot of things sometimes don't seem intuitive, but this is. So like looping, I can just drag this on like this and just reconnect it like this, hook it that way, hook it this way, and then I just double click this, and I can set it to loop any number of times as I want, or just set it as infinite. So I want it to be infinite, so I'm just gonna click save, and then we're done with this part of it. Then the next thing we need to do is we need to right click, and we have to create something. It's always gotta create something. <laughs> But we have to create what's called the sound class mix. And this is what will allow us to make adjustments to this sound cue file. So I just have to double click this. There's just a couple things I have to do in here. Just where it says sound class effects. And I'll hit plus. You'll see there's already six members in here. So if I open it up, you'll see there's, you know, voice center, apply to children, low, low pass, filter frequency. And what we're doing is we're going to go to the one of the six arrays. And we're just going to set this to what's called the master sound class. Because that's the class we're going to be using. And as you can see, it's like a hierarchy. And it allows us to make changes. So all I need to do is just hit save and kill this. And that's out of the way. Okay, and now the, the rest of our work is really just in the UMG. So what we're gonna do is I'm going to the Unreal Motion Graphics that is. So I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna go to the user interface and I'll go to the widget blueprint and I'm just gonna go user. And I'm just gonna call this audio display like that. And then I'm just gonna double click into it. And I'm just gonna go over this real quick and dirty. I am doing it from scratch, but that's, there's no reason to get into so much detail, but you can endlessly customize all this. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go canvas and drag this onto the screen. And then we're going to get some text and I'm just going to pop this right here. And then just real quick, I'm just going to call this audio controls. So this just you know gives you an idea of what the menu might look like just kind of real quick. And then we're going to drag this down here and this is just going to be our title and we're going to just call this volume and size that to fit and then we'll come back over here and go to slider and that's really what's great about unreal engine is all this functionality is built in and pre-built and you just have to put it all together but then a lot of things need to be hooked up but a lot of stuff is already built for you and if you had to code this from scratch it'd take forever so this is already done all the coding for all this so we don't have to rebuild rome 
I'm just trying to line it up a little bit. Now on this slider, you'll see it has some default values. If we come over here, you'll see that it has a min of zero and one. So that's the scale that it's on. And maybe we want the starting value to be one. So we'll set that right here. I'll just compile and save right now. And then we're just gonna need one more thing and or two more things is a button. And you can name these things anything you want to. I, I'm just gonna, I know that's the button. I'm just gonna go ahead and call this on, I guess, or power. It's blank, so we need some text on it. So we'll go text and just drag this down straight onto it right there. And then we can, if we click on the button, we can go size to content. And then on the text block itself, we can just call this on, off, or whatever power, whatever you want. And then that's it for our controls, our menu interface. So then what we're gonna do is we're going to click on this slider here and then scroll down here. And this is where we're adding our functionality. So then we click this. And then off of this, we want to go what's called the set mixer. It should pop up here. This one, set sound mix class override. That's a mouthful. And then this is for the volume. So we'll just pop this into the, vo the volume. I was going to say into the volume. <laughs> Click this. And then we're going to look for this one is push, the push sound mix. So this is what actually allows the instructions to go all the way through. So. So far, our, we just have to make a couple adjustments here. Under sound class asset, that's gonna be our master class. Under here, that's gonna be the new sound mix that we just created. And it's funny, there's one in here look, called duck normal attack mix. <laughs> I don't know why that sounds so funny to me. And then this basically is our controls our slider so that if I were to compile and save, but there's a little bit more I want to do first. So I'm going to come back into the designer. I might show you a bug. You know, make sure you're on the button, not the text here on the left side. And you come down here and we're going to go to on clicked. That's going to pop us into the event. Now here's something that was kind of interesting to me that I didn't know. And you can watch it unfold with me. There should be something in here called the flip-flop node. So if I right click and go flip-flop, look, I don't see it. See that? You don't see it, right? And it should be available to us. So where is it? Is this a glitch? Is this a bug? I don't know. But what I was told was if we come in here, let me try this first. I'm gonna try it first. So I'm gonna come into the open level blueprint and I'm just gonna see if it's available here. Flip it's available here let me just call it up and compile and save and let's go back into the designer i think this is a like a bug or something so let's go back into our auto display right click and see if it pops up see so that's all we had to do to bring it up so i don't know what that's all about but anyway we want that so now what we're going to do is we're going to left click and drag and we're going to control C and then we're going to control, whoops, get out there, control V and we're going to do this one more time and control V. And you might be asking, why are we having to do so? It seems like so much redundancy of code and it's because what I would simply want to do is just have like an on and off switch here. Like, but if you look and you right click and you go stop, the only stop function that we have available is we, we don't even have a stop, do we, for audio here? Oh, audio eight. Audio, oh, I don't even see a stop. Yeah, so it we doesn't give us an option to stop the play of our audio. So if it did, I would just grab that function and use that, but I don't have that here. So we're kind of going to fake it, right? The user won't know, so it'll just be our little secret. And then we're going to create two variables real quick here. We're just going to call this one on one, and we're going to make this a float. And then we'll compile and save, and then we'll, we'll make it, might as well make it public, I guess. And then we'll just duplicate this, and we'll just call this off, compile and save that. So what we're going to do is, where are we here? Okay. So I'm gonna drag this in here like that, and then I'm gonna grab my float here, and we're gonna go, oh, let me drag this on first, sorry about that. Go to set, and we can set, this is gonna be on, so we're gonna click, put set that value to one, 
And then we're going to drag this in here, set there, set there, and this goes into volume here. So that sets it to the max of one. Then we're going to drag our off here, go to set, and then on our flop, I guess you call it, that's going to be zero, and we're going to plug that in here and this in. So basically what this is doing is when the user hits the button, it's going to make it one. When they hit it again, it's going to make it zero. And there's a fade time here, so if you want it to happen really fast, you can put zero there and zero there. So if, and we maybe don't want any fade time up here either. Zero there too. And now we're almost done, so we can compile and save this. The only thing we have to do now is tell Unreal to display our audio display. And then the other thing we need to do is we need to drag this cue into the scene like that. So if I hit play, it should start playing right away. But anyway, let me go into the level blueprint real fast. And I can, I guess, delete that. And we'll just go to event begin play. And this just takes a second to do. We're just gonna go create our widget and we're gonna choose the audio display that we made. And then we just have to tell it again, add it to the viewport so we can see it and just drag this into there like that. And if the powers of Unreal are with us, this <laughs> should work. So let's see, we'll hit play. There's our menu there. And then on volume, I don't know if you can hear that. I'm gonna have to turn on my system audio. Hold on. Let me play, start over. There, can you hear that? <laughs> it's coming through my mic. So we can control the volume that way right there. And now if I hit on, it actually boosted it up, right? Off. On. So you can play with those values, I guess, I suppose, if it starts on a one. I don't know. I think it, it's kind of, that maybe is a little weird, huh? So it comes in and you hit on, off, on, off. It basically works, so. But that's the gist of it. So anyway, I hope you found this helpful. Take care and have a great day. Hey, I just wanted to do a quick fix on this. It's really, when I hit play on this, if I hit play and the music starts playing, I notice if you hit on it and off, it doesn't really turn it off until the second time. So what you could do to fix that, just a real quick and dirty fix is, let me, if I go back into the, the graph here, what you could do is just change the default here so that since it's going to start on a one anyway by default, then when they click the on off button for the first time, since it's already going to be on, you could just set this to zero and then set this one to one, even though they're, you know, named on and off, you're, you could fix that. So then it starts on a one and then when they click the on off button, it's all, since it's already on, it should go off. So this should resolve that if you hit play now. And then you hit, it goes off. And then you click it again, it goes on. So you just reverse those values and you got that fixed. I just wanted to mention that. So anywhere, take care, have a great day. And believe it or not, this is my 50th Unreal video. <laughs> Bye.